Hey guys, this is Tim and today I'll be reviewing QRverse, which is a brand new software that allows you to create 20 different types of QR codes. Now those QR codes all serve a different purpose. I'm going to show you how it works, the different types that you can create. And it's also very flexible in its design. So you can create all different types of QR codes in the design, give some special colors to it so that it matches your brand, your company, etc. So I think the best thing to do is to just show you how this software works. Uh, but before I do so, I want to mention that there is a link in the description of this video if you're on YouTube. It will redirect you to my website where you can find more information about QRverse. And when you scroll down, uh, you can also see some examples. Now, not all of those are working, uh, but you can see what you can generate with this QR code generator. Uh, also, the pricing, so it starts for $37, $47. Uh, make sure here to use the coupon if you decide to purchase this, use this coupon. And also, there is a bundle deal available, which are all the upgrades available for a discounted price. So you get the most discount when you get the bundle deal. Now, if you pick this up through my link, you're also going to get my free upgrades. And one of them uh, is a brand new upgrade, which is a top sales CRM account, uh, which is it's a full-blown CRM system that you can use for your business. You're going to get it completely free if you pick up QRverse through my link. A very cool platform. Plus, you're going to get all these extra bonuses as well uh, that you see on this page. So make sure uh, to simply get it from one of these buttons on the page. Or if you'd like to get the bundle deal, you can get it here as well. And all these bonuses will be automatically emailed to you. All right, uh, let's go to QRverse and let me show you how it works. Now, like I said, you can create all different kinds of QR codes, uh, types of QR codes with QR verse. And let me show you, let me show you my phone. Uh, I connected my phone here. So as you can see here, when I hover here with my phone over these QR codes, you can see that it already shows a yellow bar that we can tick on. So in this case, this is an email. When I go here, this is an email code. And this is a very cool one because when I click on this QR code here, look what happens. It automatically opens my email program with a pre-written message. So you can create QR codes with pre-written messages. Let's say you want to have people reaching out to you. You can write a pre-written written message to your email address. And the only thing that they need to do is click on that send button. Uh, yeah. And you will receive an email from them. You make it easy for them to email you. So this is simply one of the codes, but I'm going to show you a lot more. So how does it work? Really simple. Here at the top, we have our project. So uh, we have a left side menu here where we can create folders, projects, etc., where we have the settings. But the easiest way is simply to click on create where you can create your new QR codes. Now, as you can see here, there are all different types of QR codes. So you can create QR codes that point people to your websites. You could do a call QR code. So when people scan the QR code, it automatically is calling the number on the QR code. The same thing for SMS. Uh, for PayPal, for people to pay through PayPal, simply show them a QR code and they will be automatically paying to your account or to your client's account because you can use QR first also to sell this to clients. Uh, text QR codes. Uh, well, you can see them all. I, I can mention them all, but a Bitcoin QR code, a Wi-Fi. If people want to connect to a Wi-Fi network, simply create a Wi-Fi code and people are connected to your Wi-Fi network. Email QR code, that's the one that you just saw. A WhatsApp QR code, if you want to allow people to send WhatsApp messages to you or to your company. Uh, Google Maps, an event code, an image QR code, a videos QR code, document QR code, an app QR code. And the cool thing is that it also comes with landing pages. Now, what do I mean by that? Normally, when you create a QR code, you redirect them to a website, for example. Here's another example here, which is an audio QR code that allows you to upload audio files. And then when people scan that code, uh, they will automatically land on a page with the music on it. So... That's all in here, but let's first create a website QR code, which is the easiest, uh, the easiest one. So let's say I want to point people to my review in here. I'm going to do this QR verse review and then question mark T is review. Here, I want to point people to this website. So what I can do when I click continue, 
I can start designing my QR codes. Now, here you can see that at the left side, we have a menu with different options. So first, where we are right now is the colors option. So what you can do is you can say, I wanna have a transparent background, for example, but if you'd like to have a colored background, you can do that as well. And you can change the color in here. So let's say you wanna have a dark blue background, you can do that. And then you can set the foreground, for example, to white. In this case, I'm gonna do a transparent background. And what I wanna do here is I wanna enable gradient here. This is a very cool option, which I really like, is you can create gradient QR codes, as you can see here. And you can match this with your brand, with your designs. So let's say I wanna have a gradient in here. I'm gonna make the top like this blue. Let's say a blue top here and then the bottom, for example, you can make this a red color. Look how beautiful this looks, right? And you can also do the gradient type linear or radial. So if you want to have this radial, I, I like linear more here. And that's the first thing. So you design your colors. Then the next thing here that you can do is you can have different shapes of QR codes. I never knew that, but you can have all different kinds of shapes. So when I click on these, look at the QR code, how it changes. So these are more like different dots. These are kind of, look at this. This looks beautiful, right? Or you wanna have different stars here in your QR code. Or maybe you wanna create QR codes with hearts. That's also possible. So there are all different kinds of shapes that you can add to your design as you can see in here. And then you can also decide these borders, you can change those as well. So let's say you wanna make them fancy like this, you can do that as well. Or maybe you wanna have those corners. And then also the mark center, so that's the center in here. You can change that as well. If you like to change that to dots as well, or maybe you wanna have stripes in here. So there are different types of options available, or maybe you wanna have hearts in the corners. As you can see, looks very beautiful. And uh, you can also enable mark colors. So the mark colors are these colors. So now it's black. You can also change this to your own color. So let's say you wanna have these red or maybe you wanna have those blue here. Uh, you can do that as well. And also the inside, you can change that as well. So let's say you wanna make the inside red. Look at this. So you got your own QR codes completely your own designs. You can see here gradient and all the corners here with your own color design. And you're not finished yet because you can also change the image. So you can add a logo here to the center. So let's say this is a website. Uh, there's no website in here. So let's say this is an email or this is a Skype. Then you can add a Skype logo in here uh, or you can add your own logo. So let's say here uh, an email icon. If I'm having this as an email here, you can upload your own logo uh, that will be added to this QR code as you can see. Then the next thing here is you can add frames on top of your QR code. So by default, there's no frame, but you can say here at the top, you can say scan me, for example, and then you can also give this scan me a color. So if you wanna make this dark purple, you can do that. And the frame color, do you see that? So now the frame color is, is purple here. Or if you wanna have it at the bottom, you can change this, or maybe you wanna have it on top of your QR code. I like this one or maybe at the bottom of this one, or maybe you wanna, if you have a video, you can create a QR code like this with Scammy, or maybe you wanna have at the top and the bottom, it's like more like a phone, uh, you can do it like this. So they're all different kinds of types that you can create. I really like this. Uh, you can change the fonts here. There are a few more fonts that you can choose from. So if you wanna have a different font or maybe a general font like this one, uh, you can do that as well. And then the last option here, this here, you can create the size of this QR code. You can change that precision, smallest, medium, high, best. If you set this too high, uh, you can see here, I think this has to do with the borders, large, best, not sure. This has to do with the size. So once you're done here, you click on done and you give your project a name. So this was uh, my website here and I can choose my folder. So I have no folders right now. I'm gonna show you, but I'm gonna show you how you can do that. 
So you can also choose to set this to static and then it's not trackable, but you can also set it to dynamic and that's URL based uh, and trackable and editable content. So when you get this code, oh, I need to select a folder here, my default folder. Now when I generate my code, I can download this, I can print this, I can share this on social media, as you can see here, I can share this when I click on this on Facebook, WhatsApp, Twitter, uh, I can download this or I can go to my projects here uh, where it will be visible now. So here is my QR code that we just generated. And here you can see the codes that are already generated. Now in here, you also have the analytics. So right now this has been scanned zero times. So let me scan this. Let me show you how it works because uh, this was my website, right? So let me open my camera again so you can see it. So now I can scan this one here and it will open with Chrome and look what happens. It's now opening my website. And there it is. There is my website here that you can check out. This is the QR code that we just generated. So you can scan this yourself as well. If you're watching this video, simply scan this thing uh, that you see on the screen and it will open my review, uh, the link in the description of this video, as you can see. And that's how easy you create QR codes. Now, like I said, you can also create folders. So when I go to folder here, you can create client folders. So let's say this is client one or the name of the client. You can do that. Now I have another folder. So here this is client two. I can create another folder in here. Now I have different folders in here. Now, when I create a new project, I can save them in those other projects. Now, let me show you another one that I just mentioned here. Let's say you want to create an audio QR code. Then you simply click on audio and here you design the landing page. So right now here, you can see this is a landing page, page a blue landing page, uh, but you can change this. So you can say, I want to have this a red landing page, for example, and then you can select your audio. So what you need to do is you can upload your audio files in here. So let's say uh, .mp3 and we're going to pause the video to search for an mp3 video. Yes, so there I found it. Let's say this is my audio file that I want to use and I simply upload this and you can upload up to 10 megabytes. And as you can see here, this is marketing example. And now when people scan this uh, QR code, they will see this page with an audio message in here. So you can also upload multiple audio files that will be on that landing page. So when we continue here, uh, you can set the QR code again, you can design your QR codes if you want to make this red as well. You can do that. Again, you can upload and change all these things that I just showed you. And when I click done, I can get this QR code. I can select my folder, of course. I need to select my folder here. So I can say this is for client one. And now when I get my code in here, when it's generating the code, and let me scan this code as well. So let me show you what it will do. Um, let me share my screen as well here. Let's see. Uh, yes, there it should be. Yeah. So as you can see here, boom, there is the landing page where I can play my audio file here. Head and shoulders is highly effective is. at controlling dandruff flaking. So that's Our unique formulas have been dermatologic. So that's an audio file on a landing page here. All right, so let me show you a few more examples of what you can create with those QR codes. So we have, for example, call QR code. Simply select the country code in here and the phone number. And now when people scan the QR code, they will automatically call the number of that QR code. Another one here is an SMS code. So you can set up an SMS message, text message automatically in here. Another one here, uh, a Wi-Fi code, for example, when they click on it or when they scan this code, they will automatically be connected to the Wi-Fi network. Um, there's so many more email. I already showed you that WhatsApp QR code. So if you want to have people connect to your WhatsApp, you can set up your number in here. Uh, you can even send a message, a text message that they can send to your WhatsApp uh, pre-configured. Uh, there's so many things here. Images is another one uh, where you can set up an image library. I think when you go to my page here, when you scroll up here, and it's also on the sales page, I think when you uh, show this one here, so on the right side, 
let me show you this one here. When you scan this one, it will open an image library for you automatically. And you can scan these yourself as well. Uh, but as you can see here, this is an image landing page. So you create these landing pages with uh, QRverse yourself. So let me go back here. Uh, simply scan some. So some will do it, some not. Some are not uh, configured correctly. Uh, but this was an example that you can do inside of QRverse here with images. Then you simply uh, select the landing page again. You change the color of the landing page. So you, you decide what kind of background color you like to have. And you can upload your images in here uh, to create those landing pages. And that's the, the nice thing that you can create those landing page QR code is exactly the same. So you create a QR code uh, inside of QRverse that when people scan this, they will get a discount. You can do this for shops, for example. And this example is also on my website here. Uh, it's here at the bottom when I scan this one. Let me do that as well so that you can see how that works. I think that goes faster than um, here. So let me share my screen here. Boom, there it is. So when I scan this code, you can add this to shops, for example. So when people land on this and they scan the QR code, here it says coupon expires, get the code, and boom, they get the QR or the, the discount coupon code when they scan this. And you can all configure those QR codes inside of QRverse. So it's not only a code generator, uh, you also going to get all these extra uh, yeah, landing pages as well. So that's how you create those QR codes. There's also a business finder on the inside here. Personally, I don't see the, the added value, to be honest. I don't think this is a huge added value. Pro probably they will market this like, you know, you're going to get a business finder as well. Check this out, etc. cetera. Uh, but basically what this does here is you'll get access to this, to this, uh, to this finder here where you can find jobs to sell your QR code services. So when I view this job, for example, you can see here, um, I'm about to launch my online website offering express deliveries to my customers who shop in my store. And I want to promote it to my in-store via flyers, magnets, posters, etc. Ideally, I'm looking for someone to design quick and quirky, uh, something like we're online, 30 minutes with a QR code that will link back to the website. So here you can offer your QR code services, but actually those jobs are way more than only delivering QR codes. So yeah, it's nice. You can see all those jobs. You can bid on those jobs and offer your QR code services uh, if you like. But keep in mind that this is available to everyone who is purchasing QRverse and that will be a lot of people. So. Uh, yeah, you can find jobs in here, uh, but it's based on the search term QR code. You can also pin this, so then it will be pinned. These jobs will be pinned in here, so you can uh, view those jobs, reach out, etc. Now, then there's also an option to upgrade your account. So if you get the bundle deal, uh, one of the things that's nice to show here, when you go to the right menu here, uh, you have the white label dashboard. So there is a white label option that allows you to run QR verse on your own domain. As you can see here, you can set your own domain, you can set your own branding, and you can change the logo so you can upload your own logo so that this will be 100% white label if you offer these services or you sell this service to clients. You can also ser uh, sell accounts, as you can see here. So when I go here, uh, at the right side, it says reset or manage access to white label, create, update, and manage your white label users. So you can create users inside of your own application. So there is a white label option, uh, but in order to get that, uh, you will need to have these upgrades here. So here's the white label, it's 397. There are downgrades as well. So 297, 197, and 97, that's for 100 user accounts. Uh, but if you get the bundle deal here, uh, you will get the QR versus white label uh, unlimited for 397 here. So that's basically uh, this one, this unlimited one will be available inside of the bundle. And I think that's what um, QR verse is all about. I hope that you have a good insight of this platform. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments below. I'll be more than happy to answer your questions. And please hit the like button if this review was useful. Uh, again, there is a link in the description of this video to check it out, to get my free upgrades as well. And uh, 
yeah, don't forget to subscribe uh, if you like to see more reviews as well in the future. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching and uh, I hope to see you in my next video. Talk soon. Cheers.